So my name is Chris Fontenot, president and founder of Our Life, currently doing business as a Cajun Life. And I already know what's coming to mind because you ask me all the time, why Cajun and why me? And those would be great questions for sure. So it all starts back in a little small town of Eunice, Louisiana, where I'm from and was born and raised. After graduating high school, I moved up to North Louisiana. And I point this out because, believe it or not, North and South Louisiana are very different. The food is different. The people are different. It's literally like driving across state lines. And it was there, when I was in my undergraduate degree, that I started cooking for friends in my new circle. And it was there that I got the first time I ever heard this. Love the little man there. Why aren't you selling this stuff? And I literally, every time, would say, you're absolutely crazy if you think I'm going to sell Cajun food in the state of Louisiana. It's everywhere. Why would I do that? A few months went by, a few years went by, I graduated, eventually landed a job with Hershey's. Hershey's then moved me to North Carolina, where I was responsible for one of the largest territories in the US. I had 40 employees directly and indirectly reporting to me, and we continued to grow business. I had a new circle of friends then, though. So it was there, yet again it happened. Why aren't you selling this stuff? This time was a little bit different, though, because I'm now in North Carolina, and I toyed around with the idea of, hey, there's this little place on the street from where we live has been abandoned. Let's just open a little Cajun cafe and see what happens. In the end, we decided, nope, Hershey's really good to us. Why would we, why would we leave our job, my job and go open this little Cajun cafe? So we let it die. But then it got promoted again, and we moved here, right here in Portland. Actually, in Damascus is where we live. And you can guess what happened, right? But before that, I was responsible for what Hershey's deems new business. Now, that's uh, basically anything that's non-traditional, not Safeway, not Fred Meyer, not Walmart, not any of those places, right? It's the non-traditional. It's the places where you go and you're like, you think, why is there candy here? So if you happen to go into a clothing store, for instance, and you see a rack like this, this is Old Navy, that was me. Basically, if you go into a clothing store and you see candy, I likely put it there. If any of you happen to shop on Amazon, 100% me. So what is today's uh, what is Hershey's today's e-commerce division started with me. I had Amazon.com back before Amazon was really doing food. We actually helped them structure their business on how do you ship chocolate in the summer. Um, obviously, it's a huge business today. But basically, if it was non-traditional, it was my account. Eventually, they gave me the entire West Coast. But it was new friends, new story, or same story. Here we are clear across the country from any Cajun influence to my knowledge. And yet again, why aren't you selling this stuff? But there was a difference, and that is food carts. Portland is known for food carts. So my wife and I decided, hey, we keep getting told this to sell this stuff. Why don't we just test it out and see what happens? Worst case scenario, we're out a few thousand dollars, and we tried it. Best case scenario, we build a company. So we started a Cajun life. That's when we were born. That was in 2012. We opened a little food cart in Damascus. So if anybody, most of you probably don't even know where Damascus is, but it's not that far. If you go to the mountain, you probably pass right through it. But we, we started this little cart by ourselves. We were the first in Clackamas County to actually go through the food cart pod process. They didn't even know what they were doing at that time because nobody had food carts in Damascus. That was Rue. That was our first logo. Horrible, but it started us. We started selling out nearly every weekend. So it was only open on Friday nights and Saturdays, and very quickly people started driving two, three hours to get our food. So we thought, hey, we got to keep doing this, right? But about a year later, customers were getting fed up with us only being open 12 hours a week. They wanted more. So we launched our all-purpose seasoning. We kick-started it. Our seasoning is gluten-free. Um, it contains no MSG. And what we later learned from customers is that it's lower sodium. In fact, when we actually did market studies, it was up to 60% less sodium than our nearest competitor. And that was actually one of our biggest factors in, in driving our customers. I made it to be authentic and to be stupid simple to use. Everything we do is done to be stupid simple because Cajun is known for its complex flavors and not everybody can make a Cajun dish easily. That's where our, our seasonings and blends and mixes come in. If you have olive oil, a protein, or vegetables for you vegetarians out there, and our seasoning, you will have a gourmet meal every single time, guaranteed. If you haven't tried our product, I literally made that in a rice cooker. I added water, I added sausage. That was it. So I had this food cart and I eventually opened more locations. And I know what you might be thinking if you know anything about the restaurant business. Why the heck did you open restaurants? And I would absolutely concur with you. 
But they did serve a purpose because we use those restaurants to develop what is our now portfolio. Customers wanted more. So once we opened a brick and mortar, our first brick and mortar, they said, hey, you five items aren't enough. We want po' boys. We want fried fish. We want hush puppies. So we actually used the restaurants to develop what is today our portfolio through customer testing. We would invite our core customers in and say, hey, we have this new black and rub, or hey, we've got this hush puppy mix. Come in, test it out. So it actually served a purpose because that's how we launched our line. We also learned that consumers have a misconception about Cajun food. They automatically think, oh, Cajun's too spicy. Heard it all the time. I, I love the concept of Cajun, but it's too spicy. We actually walk into restaurants and tell us that, and then literally walk across the street to the Indian restaurant, which in my opinion is some of the hottest food out there. I mean, I'm Cajun, and, and that's hot food. But they would walk across after telling me that it's too hot. So the difference, though, is that our spices, if you try them, they're not innately spicy. They're packed with flavor, and that's what we, call, we say. We are spice with purpose. You're gonna get that heat, but it's not gonna make you sweat. If you wanna sweat, go get some hot wings. I know some of you in here go specifically get the hottest wing out there, but yet if I say Cajun, you might be scared to try it. So we learned that through the restaurants. So again, the restaurants did serve their purpose. So you might be wondering, is he still with Hershey's all this time? And the answer would be yes, we were. I had four restaurants and a packaged goods division, and I was running the entire West Coast for Hershey's at the time. So this was 2015. I had the opportunity to leave Hershey's through a voluntary package. So the first time ever I was in the business full time. But before then, I was promoted twice more here in Portland. Once, like I said, to manage the whole West Coast. And then the second time managing the largest division, or the second largest division of Albertson Safeway, which just so happens to be based in Portland. So Portland, Seattle divisions combined for Hershey's accounted for the second largest division. So basically, we made or made our number between me and the person in California, because the West Coast obviously is heavy in those divisions. So here I am full time at last. I'm in the business, and I realize we've detoured big time. We started the cart to test the market, and here we are with four restaurants and a packaged good division. So in 2016, I exited the restaurants. I realized very quickly, I'm not a restaurateur and I don't like running restaurants, but I do love running the packaged goods division, and it was growing without me. It was just, we were innately growing. By this point, we were in about uh, 200 stores, roughly. Um, but when we exited, I started Our Life Foods. So you might see Our Life Foods, you might see Cajun Life. Our Life Foods is the parent company to Cajun Life. It's a portfolio company. It's meant to be multiple brands underneath one central business, Cajun Life being our operating brand. So maybe asking, well, what, what happened? So basically, here's what you see here. 2017 is when we fully exited. I was in the business full time, no restaurants. We had about 200 stores. By the end of that year, we were in roughly 500 or so stores. Um, by the end of last year, we were in, as best we know, 2,000 stores. And we've been doubling our business year over year ever since. You can see these are actual retail dots. So these are our actual distribution as of uh, May, was the last I pulled the report. So we're in roughly 2,000 stores. Again, these are known, because we do have some distributors who unfortunately don't share their data with us. So these are known stores. We launched our box item last year, further making it even easier to make a gourmet meal. Like I said, that's what we're sampling in the back. Add water, add protein. If you have a rice cooker or um, uh, pressure cooker, it's all you need. Just throw it in the pot. So we're moving into higher and higher velocity categories. Year to date, we're already at 100%, 108% of our full year last year, and we haven't even launched some of our new customers like Stop and Shop, Giant Martin, Sprouts. Um, those POs haven't come yet, but we've already got commitments from them. And you can see some of the other uh, big retailers that ran across the US. Also to note, there's actually a few Starbucks companies here. So we're one of just a handful of companies who was uh, chosen for the 2019 Starbucks. And I put this up there because it's relevant. It's a relevant incubator here in the Portland area. You can see, for those who are interested, some of their, uh, their, their exit numbers. On average, any national average related to an incubator, they hit 4x uh, that national average as of Monday, which is the most recent data that I have. So I'm going to ask for you guys today, if you're an investor, are you ready for an exciting investment? Because we're having some fun and we're growing really fast. Let's put a little Cajun life in your portfolio. If you aren't an investor and you're just here checking out some new products, even better. Come see me in the back, try some product, and let's talk about your experience. Thank you. <laughs>